Amen. 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 Brother Richard. Amen. Amen. I appreciate the Lord and it's such a blessing to be here. Yeah. And I appreciate the word of God that I heard, and that's the yes. way God does things. He builds on a foundation. Yes. But God builds on a solid foundation. Solid. Yes. God doesn't build on sinking sand. God builds on a solid foundation. Solid foundation. Right. And I thank God tonight for the word that I've heard. Come on, gives me life in my soul. Right. Right. I appreciate that tonight. Amen. Praise but God. If it's all right, I'd like to go back to just a few days beyond that. Oh, where we're going to lead you. Because Amen. I don't know what anybody else got out of that brush order meeting. But I can tell you what it did for me. Yeah. It saved my life. Praise the Lord. And I thank God for young thank men God that are coming pressure. up that are pushed. Thank God for the brush. Push us over yeah. up into the hop top of the mountain because for the it's just not for young men yeah. that are coming up and pushing. Amen. And I thank God for Brother Matthew for having the zeal that he has and the yeah. desire in his heart yeah. to see Praise the God for it. Fire. Amen. Amen. Without that, Amen. Without that, I'd be lost tonight. Right. Yes. Because a few days ago, uh, two years ago, I was in a place I was never going to go back there. No. I won't ever have to go back there. No. I talked to my pastor and they said the Lord told me, Come told him to tell me that I never have to go back never that way to. ever again. Never again. As long as I do right. Amen. And Brother Charles said, Thank you, Lord. do right. Amen. You know to do right, do Come right. On. Do right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. A couple of days ago, I had my mind in the gutter. It wasn't where it should have been. CB, Brother CB, I'll tell you back there. I told Brother CB just a few days ago. I said, I ain't never coming back to this place. Yes, yes, sir. I said, I've seen some such ugly stuff. I said, I'm never coming back to yes, this place. Yes, yes. But thank God when I was but in God. that meeting out there, yeah. God touched my mind, God. opened my eyes, <clears throat> like it sucked all the garbage out of my head, thank cleared you. my mind up. All right. Thank you. Right. Come, Come on. on. Right. Come on. Let's rejoice with it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Amen. What God wants to be cobwebs in your head. Amen. You let the Lord clear those cobwebs out. That's why Amen. our pastor said, listen to what the man of God says. Yes. When every man gets on his feet, I listen to what they say. Brother Matthew was on his feet a few months ago. And I thought, my mind was trying to play tricks on me and say things. And the Holy Ghost spoke to me. Thank you. Just forget about Matthew. Don't, don't even think about Matthew. But listen to the words that I've been saying. Yeah. And I heard words, and I heard words of life. Yeah. And tonight, that life is in my yeah. soul, well, and I feel God for that. Amen. I thank God for what I feel in Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Yes. <clears throat> the first night I went to that brush water meeting, God began to clean me up. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. The second night I went there, and I only got to go two nights. Some of you got to be there the whole week. Yes, thank God. I only got to be there two yes. nights. The second night I pulled under them oak trees out there, the beautiful people. I just thought about my dad. Not the one down there, but the one sitting right here. Yes. My father and the Lord, that's my daddy. I, I, don't, I don't want to call him Brother Marlowe because that's my dad. That's my dad. He raised me. I, whatever I turned out to be, just because of that man Bless right there. Richard Lord. Bless I thank God for that. Bless him, Lord. And that second night, I pulled out there in the oak trees, and I thought yeah. about some things. And I thought, well, I'd just like to thank him. It's just hugging. Yeah. Pulling Come me on. so Come tight. On. Thank you for all the Come way on. that is done so that I could be standing yeah. here tonight yeah. feeling life in my soul right. when I would have been dead. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You know how far Amen. that mind will take you? That mind can take you, if you listen to it, yes. it'll take you farther than you want to go. Yes. That's why I thank God tonight. Glory. I understand who the devil is. Yes, and I do. understand what he does and how he works. And I was taught by a man of God who the enemy is. Amen. And I thank God tonight that that went down in my heart. Glory. Praise God. I'll never yes. change on that. Praise God. Praise God. Who the devil is. I don't know how he works. And now that I got all the cobwebs out of my head of Brother John Henry, I can see Amen. and I can hear. Amen. Once I was dead, but now I'm alive. I'm Once alive. I was blind, yeah. but now I see. Now I see. Yeah. And I thank God for what I can see. Amen. See, now my thinking's different. Amen. Everything about me since just Amen. even yesterday, my mind's all different. Amen. I drove up here Monday morning and I was helping Brother CB do some things around here. And I, I did, I've i been around here for a while. I know what's going on. I was just helping my brother out. Yeah. And I pulled up around back here, and I was looking at things, and I thought, you know, if people didn't know who we are and didn't know what we stood for, yes. they would say, man, look at these buildings over there. They're getting old and yes. run down, and 
Yes. There's sheds around here about to fall down. Yes. Now I don't look at it that way. No. I look at it different. Hey. Look back on this corner now, and I see a big old nice big huge building back there. Amen. Even for RTCS. Amen. Amen. I thought, man, I, maybe the Lord would even use me to be a teacher Dr. back Fisher. there. Yeah. I could teach young men how to uh, use the measuring tape, how Amen. to how to right. uh, build something. Right. And uh, Amen. wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. 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 I don't see TCS yeah. shrinking. Yeah. I see CCS taking up these two blocks one day. Amen. Because what God's fixing to do Amen. for his people, Amen. this is small right here. This little gathering, this might be a little small gathering tonight, but I promise you a year from now, it won't be like this right now. Thank you, Lord. It won't be like this because God's moving right now. God is moving in the earth and he's moving in his people. And I'm glad tonight that he let me be a part of that. Yeah. I'm so Lord, thankful that he yeah. let me be a part of what he was doing. Yes. Yes. My natural father, he used to tell me, he said, boy, he said, why do you put so many floats on that net? Why do you why do you put so many sinkers on there? Why do you make that net so heavy? Why it's so big and bulky? I said, because I just think big. I said, your nets, you run them nets out, and it just scares the fish. I said, my nets, I want my nets to catch them all. I don't want them to get out. Yeah. And that was Jesus, oh. Jesus said to the Father, He said, all that you gave me, yeah. I've not lost one. Come on. Yeah. And see, God, uh, Amen. Jesus Amen. sitting on the right hand of the Father, Amen. that's what we've heard for years. He's not sitting at the right hand of the Father. He's not sitting still. Jesus is moving. He was sitting down at one time. Now he's moving. He's moving. He doesn't sit still. Amen. He's a keeper the Israel shall never slumber nor sleep. Thank God. He's not lazy. He's not sleeping. Sometimes I thought, you know, I thought wrong. I thought being in the ministry, I thought I could just go do this and do that and everything would be all right. I found out that didn't work too good for me sometimes. i got to get out there and do something else. Hallelujah. I said, I ain't going to survive like this. i got to do something else. i got all these kids and everything. i got to do something else. i got to lose. That's why he gave me all those gifts. Well, I'm a carpenter. I can build boats. I can I can build all kinds of stuff. And, and, and the same uh, measuring tape that you use to build the block wall is the same measuring tape that you use to build a stub wall Amen. in a house. Yes. See the same measuring tape. That's right. But you got to know how to use the tape. Hey. hey, hey. I went. I was. I almost got aggravated this morning. I thought, Lord, no, I'm not going to get aggravated. I said, today is going to be a peaceful day. Yeah, amen. And so I started, I, I was working on a little project I had for the kids. Something for the kids. I couldn't find this uh, drill bit. It's a countersinker bit, and I couldn't find it. And I knew I just took it out of the drill the day before. I couldn't find it. So I looked around, I looked around, and I couldn't find it. I said, well, I'm not going to get activated about it. So I said, I'm going to go to 7 and get me a start and think about it for a few minutes. I'll come back. Right there. So I did that when they got circuit, come back. I was looking for it again, couldn't find it for a while. And I said, I ain't going to get aggravated about that. I said, I'll just run over to Lowe's and get one. And I thought, no. I said, my son in law, he's been teaching me how to handle money. I got, I don't want to say it, that guy's so tight he squeaks when he walks. He knows how to handle money. If you don't know how to handle money, it'll go out faster than you think it will. You won't have none. You'll be sitting there and you won't have any. Amen. So I went over to Lowe's. I said, I said, I couldn't find it. I said, so where else only a few bucks, so I'll just go there anyway. It's easier to do that than you have to all that. So I drove up to Lowe's and I started inside, here come this guy running out the door towards me. I said, this guy's a nut. What's he doing? He said, well, what kind of work do you do? I said, I do everything. He said, well, you're, you're in the right place at the right time. You're getting a business card. He says, I just got a new shop over here, and I fix all kinds of electric tools. Any kind of hand tool there is, I can fix them. I said, well, that's a blessing. Well, that was worth the drive over there. Yes. Hey, Amen. Right. I said, well, yeah. Lord, you bless me. I thought, you know, it's all right. Well, if it's all just, it's just for that, it would be profitable. Right. So I went on in the store, went shopping, looking around for this bit. I seen a guy, and I thought I knew him. He looked just like the guy I know. I said, that's Lynn Howe right there. I said, that guy looks just like Lynn Howe. I called him, I, people I thought I was crazy. I was following the guy around the store. <laughs> I said, that, and I got close to him, I said, that's not Lynn Howe. <laughs> and I said, I thought to myself, Lord, are you trying to tell me something? And he says, yep, I am. <clears throat> he 
get in your car and go see Brother Lynn. Tell him you love him. See how he's doing. I said, Lord, I'm trying to do this project right here. I'm getting, I'm running out of time. I got something to do Saturday. I'm trying to get this all done right here. I'm running out of time. You tell me to do this, and I can't get this done. So I drive out there. There wasn't nobody around. So I sat there in the shade tree, some people out there. I sat there for a few minutes, and I said, somebody come around after a while. Well, he never showed up. But the thing is, is when I pulled in the driveway, there was a guy mowing the yard. Or he was weedy. He had to mow the yard. He was weedy. And I said, well, surely you don't go to church here. I says, if he goes to church here, he run up there and see what I was up to, what I was doing. He didn't know me. I ain't never seen him. Before. I thought, well, I ain't no sense in asking him. He don't know. He'd be coming up there. So I went up and and walked around, looked around. And I come back up again. I said, no. Such as that guy, he just mow the yard. He don't know nothing. So a few minutes later, I drove out by the entrance and and he just happened to be right there where I come in. And I said, fella, I said, you go to church here? He said, sure I do. I've been with Brother Lynn for a long time. I thought to myself, now why didn't this guy say something when I first drove in here? I wonder what I'm up to. I have no good back there. But he just sat there, trimming, wasn't paying no attention. I thought, my goodness. What's this guy? He's just so peaceful and everything. So I thought, well, Lord, maybe she's trying to tell me something. Maybe in my time I didn't do things right. Maybe I mishandled some people. Maybe I've done some things. You know, if I've done anything to anybody in this place, please forgive me, because I promise you, I'd never go lay my head on the pillow tonight and go to sleep without making it right. The Bible said, let not the sun go down on your wrath. And when the Lord reveals something to me, I do it now. I don't wait till tomorrow, I do it now. <coughs> and then the other day I got the counsel with my pastor. He said, Come up and have some coffee sometime. And I said, well, I need that. And, and I said, I don't know when. But I got up Saturday morning. The Holy Ghost said, today's the day. Hey, go talk to your pastor. Tell him how you feel. Tell him what's going on with you. If you don't talk to him, he don't know what you're up to and what you're about. And he's busy. He's doing. He's got so much to do. One man can't do it all. So I said, okay. So I went up there, counseled my pastor, and felt better after that. Thank God. Thank God. I listened to my father. God bless. The Bible says, Thank obey you. your parents. Obey your mother and father in the Lord. Amen. And that's what I've learned today. And tonight, I'm so thankful to be in this place. Yeah. 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 And I got, there's, there's inspiration. I could probably go like this all night long. Because I feel good in my soul. But see, I was taught. That's why we don't do that. We give space for other people. Really gifts. Thank right. God for church. All the gifts have to work in the church. church. So tonight, I just want to get up and say how much I well, appreciate it. I'm thankful Amen. I am to be here. Yeah. How much life I feel in my soul. Yeah. I feel like yeah. 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 But tonight, isn't it wonderful to feel the Holy Ghost? Amen. Oh, yeah. You know you can't feel this everywhere you go. Oh, oh, you can go. There's places all around. My, my mother, when, when she first got saved, my dad's family, God all after her. Well, there's churches between here. Why you got to drive all the way up there? Well, she didn't tell them why. She said, I just like the church. I, you don't have to tell everybody everything. Sometimes you don't have to say everything, you know. <laughs> just, just do it like the Lord tells you to do it. Amen. So tonight, I'm thankful to be in this church. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God.